yeah, check that out. Things are heating up. The sun is shining on one astrophotographer over his stellar work. And by stellar, we mean he captured some unreal images of the sun. Andrew McCarthy is the man behind these incredible photos and several other space pictures that will absolutely take your breath away. Andrew is here with us tonight to share how he took such an extraordinary image. And Andrew, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I mean, okay, so let's start off with the picture of the sun. It's completely beautiful. Um, but tell us how you were able to really capture, I think, the essence of the sun as well in this one image. Uh, well, let me start by saying, don't try this at home. This is actually really <laughs> dangerous to attempt yeah. if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but by filtering out the light that's entering my telescope, I can get rid of a lot of the heat that's created by it. And when I'm shooting this, and when I'm shooting these images with this telescope, I'm cutting out such a tiny portion of light that the atmospheric details actually become visible in the image. And that's why it looks so fiery and flamey like you see in this image. That's so cool. It oh. looks almost like an orange. Yeah, it looks like a microscopic image or something. I've never mm -hmm. seen the sun look like that. So um, in, all, in all seriousness, though, can you go blind from, from shooting the sun like that? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh yeah, if I didn't have these filters and I put an eyepiece on here, I'd be I'd be looking through that that focused beam of energy from the sun. It'd fry my retinas immediately. I'd be completely blind. Ooh. So yes, very very dangerous to try this if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. I'm glad that we really put that out there and emphasized it a couple of times. Um, so in some photos, we can actually see what look like little fury swirls. Um, tell us a little bit more. What exactly are those? Well, what you're seeing in those images is plasma from the sun. It's superheated plasma. Uh, and it's caught up in mag the magnetic field of the sun. So it forms these loops and swirls as it follows the magnetic activity of the solar atmosphere. So you, the larger loops are called prominences. Uh, and some of those, and the smaller ones that make the texture across the whole sun are called spicula. 